Hey there, Casey here from worthyandwell.com. First off, a question to the Calgary folks, the local people in my community. What is with the snow in May? I'm wearing this bulky winter sweater today because I'm totally chilled. For those of you who are watching this video from other warmer parts of the world, I'm a little bit jealous right now, but you know what? We do what we need to do. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the one cleanse that I can actually get behind. I'm gonna share with you why, how to do it to actually, you know, have a better understanding of what you should do to eat better. Are you ready? Okay. So I'll say right off the bat, it's probably not what you think it is, of course. It's not a cleanse where you drink only juice for a period of time, where you buy some expensive supplements that you take for a long period of time, where you only drink lemon water with cinnamon and cayenne, where you only consume cabbage soup or something like that. It's not that kind of cleanse because frankly, your liver and kidneys do a fabulous, fabulous job of cleansing any toxic elements from your body. So that's not the type of cleanse that we're talking about. I hear so often from the Worthy and Well community and from many of my clients that they experience this level of overwhelm to do with the sea of nutrition information that's online, in the media, that their you know, friend shares with them, or even the contradictory information that experts share, experts in the field. And so the cleanse that I'm gonna share with you is gonna help you to reduce some of that overwhelm and clear the clutter in the mind. That's right, it's a mind cleanse. And there's a specific process that I think is super helpful to help you clear the mind and free up some valuable real estate so that you can spend your energy on actually taking action. Because the truth is, when we're in this space of overwhelm, when we have no idea where to start, no idea what's right and wrong and good and bad these days, we just make no progress. We fall into this level of paralysis. And so I think it's super important to cleanse the mind before really diving into making progress. So here's what you're gonna do. There are four important steps that I'm gonna guide you through to work through this mind cleanse so that you can reduce the level of nutrition and eating overwhelm in your mind. The first step is to grab a piece of paper and a pen as well as a timer. So if you wanna do this exercise as I talk you through it, press pause, go grab your pen and paper and your timer right now. The second step is to do what's kind of like a brain dump. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. And for that period of time, you are going to write down every single thing that's on your mind about what you should do regarding nutrition and wellness, or anything that you're wondering about, about specific foods, um, specific uh, nutrition experiments or different ways of eating, anything at all, anything that comes to mind. So setting the timer for 15 minutes, writing down all of your should do. So it'll be something like, you know, oh, should I eat dairy? I heard that was bad and acidic and actually leached calcium from your bones. Or should I use legumes? Like what the heck do I do with legumes? Or should I follow a vegan diet? Or maybe I should be putting cinnamon on my oatmeal like that friend of mine said a while back. Or should I be only drinking this highly mineralized water? Or should I be only consuming green juice? So whatever comes to mind, get it out of your brain and onto the paper. For the record, those examples just kind of came to my mind in the moment. So I'm not either supporting or rejecting any of those shoulds that came out of me right then. So once you do that, you're gonna try and do it for 15 minutes. You might have a space where you stall, where you're like, meh, I don't have any more questions. I don't really think there's anything else. In those moments, ask yourself, what else am I wondering about? What else am I wondering about? What else do I feel I should do? Or what else is cluttering up my mind? And just keep going. And when the timer goes, you might keep writing for another five minutes. So I find that once you get started, it can just keep snowballing. So you're gonna get everything out and onto paper. Okay, step three 
is to go through a process of asking yourself a few very simple questions. And now I'll admit, I'm gonna get a little bit alternative on you. I'm not sure if there's some really solid scientific backing to this process, but I really like this work. And it's the work of Byron Katie. She has come up with four questions to help you sort of observe your thoughts and question your thoughts to see if they serve you or not. Because frankly, our thoughts matter. Our thoughts inform our beliefs, which inform our actions and our habits and our character and our destiny. There's a really good quote that speaks to that point. And so questioning the thoughts is really important. So after you have everything down on paper, you're gonna go through each one and you're gonna ask yourself, is it true? That's the first question. If you answer yes, then you're gonna move on to the next question, which is, is it absolutely true? Or 100% of the time, is this absolutely true? And then you'll move on to the third question. Who am I when I believe this thought? So what do I do? How do I feel? How do I react when this thought is true for me? The fourth question is, who would I be without the thought? How would I act? What would I do? What would change if this thought never crossed my mind? So four really simple questions to get you analyzing how these shoulds in your own mind affect you in your life. So I think this is really important because so often we turn to external sources for information and doing that check in with yourself first is really valuable because you might find that some of those shoulds actually have no meaning to you and wouldn't serve you at all while others may serve you. Okay, now in this process, you're probably gonna find that, you know what, to be honest, I absolutely have no idea if this is right or wrong or true or false or if it feels good for me or not good for me. Highlight those ones, and then we're gonna move into the next step, which is going to be to send me those should do's that you're really wondering about. Because frankly, I get that it's confusing. And I wanna help you find some clarity in this world of nutrition so that you can just release some of that mental clutter and get into the meaningful action steps that are actually gonna make a difference. So again, to summarize, the first step in this brain dump mind cleanse process is to get out a piece of paper, a pen, and a timer. The second step is to write out all of your should do's in a 15 minute time span and maybe even longer. Maybe you set the timer for another five minutes after that. Then step three is to go through those four questions based on the work of Byron Katie. The first being, is it true? The second, is it absolutely 100% true? The third, who am I when I believe this thought? And the fourth, who would I be without the thought? And then also check in and see what are these things that I really wonder about, that I'm really lost with, that I really have no idea about, and I would love to hear some of the science behind these questions. You're gonna highlight those, and that last step is you're gonna send those to me. So you can either email me at casey at worthyandwell.com. Actually, that's probably the best option. Just email me your should do's. And here's what I'm gonna do with them. I'm preparing an amazing free masterclass for you that's called Nutrition Trend or Truth, where I hope to help you declutter your mind a little further by providing you with evidence-based answers to the most common nutrition questions. So really we'll dive into some of the hot topics of this year and help you figure out myth from fact. So that's really what's coming. But for now, send me those should do's and expect some information about this free masterclass coming very soon. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me hear about your should do's and I'll talk to you soon. Happy decluttering, happy cleansing. Take care.